get going. So can you just state your name and major? Of course, my name is Sarah Pagano, um, or Pagano, and I'm an emerging media arts major. Okay, so in my cinema production class, we are making an experimental film about like um, assimilation or like censorship in like the tech world. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, yeah, it's basically like super experimental. Like there's a lot of um, digital effects involved and practical effects, so. Yeah, I mean, like, Honestly, like anything with filming, it starts out great and you have this huge, amazing idea and you think it's going to go great. And then all of a sudden it just falls on its head and it ends terribly. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty much how it goes. Um, but it's been, it's been nice to work with like my group because we all sort of collaborate. Like I wrote it and directed it, but Peyton, um, she was a cinematographer and Kale was like my editor and first AD. So she helped a lot. They all helped a lot. Um, and so the, I guess, the good things that happened were um, we stayed pretty on point with my vision of how I wanted it to go. So it turned, I mean, this is just the rough cut we have, but it turned out pretty similarly to how I pictured it, which is nice because that like never happens. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of been like a plus and a minus. Like on the plus side, um, oh, okay, I'll start off with the bad point. So I didn't want them to have to wear their masks and it was supposed to be indoors because it's like in a classroom setting. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted them to, I wanted there to be a lot more people, but then I, we got a nasty <laughs> letter from the university saying how you have to wear your mask. Even if you're like off campus in another apartment, you gotta do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, okay. That kind of changed my plans a whole lot. So, that was a damper on my plans for sure, but we were able to work around it. And honestly, I'm kind of thankful because of that, because if I didn't have that limitation, I wouldn't have thought of a better, a way to make it better, honestly. So it was a problem to overcome, but it also helped me a lot too. So it's like, uh, I mean, I, I guess I can say, from last year to this year, it's been a huge difference. I've definitely, candidly, I haven't really learned a lot because we've been online and it's just, it's so easy to get distracted when you're on Zoom. And especially when you're not like physically in the center working and have the professors be able to help you out. Um, that's been like a struggle and not just for this class, for like all the classes too. Um, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to you know, be on Zoom and I could still be in person. But sadly, that's not the world we live in right now. So it's been, it's been tough transitioning to this hybrid, mainly in per or online learning. But you know what, make do with what you can. So mm -hmm. well, honestly, okay, so I was looking to go to film school. And I wanted to like, it's just go away from the East Coast for a while because I've been there my whole life. I wanted to like try something new. And so of course, like any normal person, I said, Nebraska, why not? So I went, I looked at the school cause my cousin went here and I saw they had a film program and I was applying, about to apply. And then I saw, wait, that's not a thing anymore. It's emerging media arts. So I applied and I was like, you know what? If I get in, I get in like, whatever. But then I, the more I learned about it, the more I was like, oh my God, this is like really cool. I have to be here. And so it, that's sort of how I was introduced to the program. Just the fact that it's so unique. Um, other film schools mainly deal with solely cinema. That's it. But here I've never heard of augmented reality before, but now that's like a thing. I've never heard of like, art installations or like experience design, but I've learned so much about the other aspects of this digital world that I thought was so two-dimensional.